Yo, what's good, man? Tell me, tell me about Latin music. Why, why is salsa so special? What, what's the history of salsa? Tell me about, you know, usted soy de Puerto Rico, right? Not only de Puerto Rico, and, and, and actually the Cubans are very, very professional with their, with their music. They take it very seriously. They got the best musicians in the industry. But take it a little deeper than that. We're the only, I'm not going to say the only culture, but one of the only cultures that have kept the African tradition alive just by mere fact that the percussion section and a lot of the Africans understand and can communicate with the percussion section because that was how they used to communicate during those days. It wasn't no YouTube, it wasn't email, it was drums. Salsa, and it's really not, and salsa is like a sauce. It's really called wawanko. That's the music. Wawanko. Okay, a lot of people don't know they call it salsa, but salsa is a sauce. The music is wawanko. Uh, just to cut it, I'm going to cut it short. Listen to the music. Listen to guys like, Ray Barreto, uh, Tito Rodriguez, uh, Tito Puentes when he was young. Uh, uh, I'll even get deeper than that. Listen to Chucho Valdez. They're into what they call Latin jazz, but it's all part of a African folklore. Listen to those guys. I mean, there's so much history, it would take me like hours to, to get really deep into it. Okay. Signing out. No, no, I got a quick question. Yeah, what's the question? What happened? What, what's his name? Mongo Santa Maria? Santa Maria? What's his name? Mongo Mo Santa Maria. What happened? When, was there a battle in, in Yankee Stadium? You you be telling me a lot of yeah. history. First of yeah, all, what's your name? name? What's your name, man? Raul uh -huh. Mario Roman. Where you from, son? I know you from the hood, son. I'm, Barrio. From, I'm from, actually, I'm living here, residing in Queens. Uh -huh. Astoria. That's what's up, Queens. But I grew up in East Harlem, yeah. And I grew up during the era where salsa was very popular. You had Symphony Sit on the radio, Polito Vega. There are a lot of DJs out there pushing the music. Uh, talking about that, Momo Santa Maria and Ray Roberto Du, it was a, it was sort of like not really a battle. They both respect each other, but a lot, a lot of the Latins were kind of like commenting who's better, Momo Santa Maria or Ray Barreto. Everybody knows the answer to that. Ray Barreto is a great drummer. Don't get me wrong. Mongo Santa Maria is in a different level. Did he play in Africa? You told me something about. He's played no, in or the Africa. Africans played over here, or he went to Africa. How did it go? The final All Star went to Africa, and it was a sellout crowd. And it's all because of the drum itself. It was a fantastic, fantastic concert. For well, anyone, you can go to YouTube and check it out. Now, the battle you was talking about, you mentioned about a battle with, like I said, Ray Barreto and Mongo Santa Maria. They battled in Yankee Stadium, and. The final all star didn't even get to finish their concert because in that, that battle, it was so fierce that the crowd just ran into the field and the concert ended. So the spirit got into everybody. Not only but the spirit, but the, the whole, the culture is, is, is very, yeah, yeah, I would agree with you. The spirit of the music itself possessed the people to just. Okay, let me ask you a question. Field. Speaking of Africans and drums. You know, I know, just pause for him, all right? Pause for, for him, you know? Yo, speaking of African and drums, right? Yo, do people use drums to talk to each other? Or, for example, can you call spirits using drums? Because I know in, like, Santeria... Absolutely. A lot of times for the Oriates and the Initiates and stuff like that, they have to play certain drums for the specific deity. And well, then okay. that deity can come down into the congregation or a particular initiate. And it usually does. They get into these uh, trance, and some of them actually talk in tongues. A lot of the tongues, a lot of the language they speak, you couldn't understand it because this is language that was back, 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 thousands of years in Africa. So you would have to be like one of those, you know, like a doctor sort of language, you know, like a professor, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's deep. It's Africa. I That's love you, Manny. I appreciate from. this, man. You heard? Yo, this man right here, Raul Roman. Yo, he's been dropping jewels on the king of YouTube for yeah. years. Some of the stuff I done talked to you, I uploaded a video called Vamano Palmonte. Eddie Palmieri. Eddie Palmieri. That song go, was go. hot. Vamano, how, what does it mean? Go to the mountain, you yeah. have more what? Yeah. Enjoyment? Exactly. Exactly. It's a party. How it go? Dude, just kick, kick one verse for the people, man. Come on, man. Single, man. Come on, I wish I was a, I love you so much, but I'm not a singer, man. You don't want to hear me sing. One, one, one quick verse. One quick verse. One quick. Vamos para el monte. 
Que el monte se está mal. ¿Qué? Vámonos para el monte. Ajá. Que el monte se goza más. Mm -hmm. That was Eddie Palmieri. Now, what's the science behind the mountains? Why did the slaves always run to the mountain? Because it was a safe haven. Mm -hmm. You know, remember the Europeans were, were, were vicious, man. Mm -hmm. They were cruel. You know, if you go and you study history, they were, they were vicious, especially the Spanish. Background, you know? background, background. Please respect. Thank you. Especially the Spanish, but you know that's how the Spanish and uh, you know the American War started. You know, they were they were they were vicious. They were tyrants. They would rape your wives, your children. They were just tyrants. Kill your, castrate your husbands. You know, it's, it was horrible. But man, thank God that you we know we survived, man. We survived. Thank God, man. That's I right. don't care if you're black, brown, yellow, That's what it's about. in between. We, all went we survived, baby Paul. Son. You Definitely. know what I'm saying? The Indians. Definitely. You know, um, an uh, interesting thing. You know, not to change the subject. The name of this video is gonna be Salsa Battle. Yeah. Right. But my point is that um, anything to do with salsa or music. You're dealing with spirit. Definitely. That music is really deep. Definitely. I watch Latin people when they dance. You know what I'm saying? And the steps to that salsa music is intricate. Merengue yeah. is easy. Knees, hips. Yeah. Knees, hips. Yeah. Boom, boom, but boom. Salsa da -da 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 boom, boom, you boom. improvise even. You even learn salsa? Moves in salsa? Yo, that's a you whole know? different book. Listen, to dance salsa, you got to be able to catch a touchdown like that's my man Cruz. You know what I'm saying? That's, you that's gotta what get, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. He's putting us in the map. Yeah, yeah. We so, were always there, don't get me wrong. But, you know, people are learning more about the music itself, man. You know? You know well, there's a spiritual regrowth going on. Definitely. I'd like to re-welcome mi borriquen familia to the Definitely. whole diaspora, kid. Y'all yeah. never left. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. But I have to re-welcome you because... We're under a whole new star system now. We're under the age of Aquarius. Under. The this is not talk no more. Yeah. We went, we left the age of Pisces. That astrological sign has left the sky. Jesus ain't here no more. Mm. The next Messiah is coming for the age of Aquarius. That's just how it works. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'd like to re-welcome all my Latinos to the human family. Regardless of where you're from, but particularly right now, this is a shout out for Puerto Rico and Cuba. Why? Because, check it, the islands, right? The entire island was all what? Taino, Arawak, yeah. right? Yeah, he's right. Right? And they say the Caribs was cannibals. I don't know if it's true or not. They might have been cannibals. I don't know. But I know the Arawaks and Tainos, I think Taino was just a sub-branch of the entire Arawak who populated the entire Carib. So if you say you're an original Jamaican or you was a Puerto Rican or a Haitian before the white man got here, then that means you are related to everybody who lives in every island. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And I just want to share one more thing before we go. When you see countries like Jamaica that's made from the lava flow, Mm -hmm. And the, the Caribbean islands, they're made from the lava. And I'll tell you, that turns into, you know, land when the mm -hmm. lava explodes. The lava it comes up. the ocean and it gets hard like rock. And there's a foundation being built under the ocean. And now these Caribbean... What is the foundation? It's an entire mountain. Yeah, it's an entire mountain. Right? So when you see the mountaintop, when you see the mountaintop, what that means, yeah. only elite people, one, you either have elites or you have highly educated, scientifical-minded or spiritual people like monks or runaway slaves mm. live at the top of the hills. So you either got slaves, you got elites, but basically the leaders of society, the leaders of thought, because if you're a slave who can run away, then you are a leader of thought because you don't accept That's what right. they have that taught behavior. you. That's right, correct. right. Yeah. So all only leaders live on the mountaintop. Why am I sharing this? Because the sea level used to be 40,000. It used to be 40 stories below what it is now today that's at least 400 feet that's correct yeah. so if you go 400 feet down in the caribbean sea technically some of those islands you could walk across technically those were mountain tops and in ancient times the elite ones like if you go to machu picchu you go to peru you go to um peru definitely peru go to the himalayas they got a god named shiva the guy with the snake around his oh, head oh yeah right shiva yeah. And yes, he lives on he the top a, yes, of the Himalayas. He, he meditates, he's celibate, and he's a meditant. And he has 84, they said he has 84% of the powers and attributes of the Almighty God, Shiva. Mm. And he's in charge of destruction and ignorance. Because everything that comes out, 
gotta go back in. You know what I'm saying? Everything that come out, gotta go back in. You know what I'm saying? You wanna go to the world where it never comes out or goes back in, where it's eternal. It's the center. But check it, yeah. So, I don't know how I lost my thought, but I always lose my thought. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, listen, family is family, kid. Yeah. Welcome back. This is the Age of Aquarius. Yeah. Some man, Patsu King of YouTube. Right. I'm out. You got any questions, holla at your boy, all right? One.